What's up, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here on day eight of Spider-Man Villain Week. This time, we got an old school piece, the Sideshow Rhino Comic Cat. We're going to do an unboxing and review and keep this thing going. Stay tuned. <music> Man, it's about to be a Spider-Man villain month. You know what I mean? Day eight. So the funny thing about this piece is that I have the Sideshow Rhino Comic Cat exclusive coming on the way to me right now. I bought it from a dude in Germany off Facebook. And my man Adrian, uh, who's local here, was like, bro, I'm selling mine. I wish you would have known. I'd have sold it to you. So um, I figured so I could keep this Spider-Man villain week going. Just bring the uh, just bring the rhino through so I could do an unboxing and review so we have this you know consecutive days of these villains so this one's not mine but I do have the same one coming in uh, with that being said let's unbox this thing so be really careful because it doesn't look like he has this thing taped you know dang he's huge man. Alright, here goes the base. Very lightweight base. This one's number 241 out of 500. There's the exclusive head. Dang, it's huge, man. Well, actually, I said exclusive head. I don't even know which one the exclusive is. That's one of the heads. Here is the other one. Dang, man. Pretty big. Wow. Look how big he is. Super light. You know, I've heard it was really light. But definitely a hollow piece. get one of the, the heads on him. I believe the one with no ears is the one that's more comic accurate. Rhino, uh, first appearance was an Amazing Spider-Man 41. I forget his name. I'm trying to think of what the name was from uh, Amazing Spider-Man 2. I think it's like a Russian name or something, right? But you know, I, I kept thinking that this is a shorter piece that is going to be small. But it's actually pretty massive, man. It reminds me of like the Hulk premium formats that I had. How tall is this guy? Yeah, so he's only like 18, 19 inches tall. He definitely looks like he's going to be posed uh, better high up. so he Because he's like kind of looking down, lunging forward. But man, I love the paint on it. It reminds me of like a big elephant. Even with that ass crack right there. So let's see, what do I like? Do I like this head? Or the one with the ears? Very similar. I don't know, whatever it is, I'll probably rock the exclusive head. So this is more classic sideshow. It reminds me very much of the Thing Premium format, especially that big heads with the big keys, uh, which I like. Uh, the rock base, they probably should have did a different color, right? Because he's all gray, and then you got this gray base. But it's sculpted good, the paint is good. I really like the detail and the textures on his skin. First of all, he's got those elephant looking toes. Toenails are very detailed and cracked. You can see his muscles and his uh, calves and uh, the veins in his in his ankles and his leg there. He's got the veins in his thighs. I really like how like uh, the bottom of his foot looks too. It looks very rough. It looks like a real foot. Super hollow. It reminds me of a Marvel life size bust. 
got like these uh, circular kind of spots on them, or whatever you want to call them. His spine is sculpted in. Like, I still never, to this day, I don't understand what's going on with his suit. Is it his suit? Is it part of his body? Like, what's really going on with Rhino? Can somebody explain to me? Can somebody explain? So, let me see. Looking at the portraits. Yeah, I guess it's just like an older one and, a, and then a modern one. But I, I'm excited to have this one in the uh, collection, man. I, I have a space form, Spider-Man Villains. Taking over one whole side of the Gempire. Rhino is in the mix. Super hollow uh, piece. But um, looks great. That's pretty much all there is for Rhino. Uh, this was day eight of Spider-Man Villains Week. Tomorrow we're going to do an old school cat, uh, Catwoman. Black Cat uh, Sideshow. I think it's a comic cat. It might be a premium format. I forget what it's actually called. And that should wrap up Spider-Man Villains Week. Just in time for like a weekly wrap up that we'll do at the end of the week. So uh, hit that like on the way out. Drop me a comment about the piece. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more statue unboxing and reviews. And a lot of other content as well. And stay minty fresh y'all. Peace. Thanks Adrian for letting me uh, unbox it.